deeper. I wouldn't say, well, not a little deeper, a little more offshore, that's still four to five foot range because it seems like the lake's a little high based on the boat ramp and then also that old water willow that's trying to regrow back up is going to be in that two to three foot range. So I'm trying to look four, five, six, seven, eight feet deep, see if there's anything that they might be holding on before they get up there. And I came across this point. I could see some water willow up on the shallow spot on my side imaging, and I saw what looked like a little bitty bridge with bluegill beds all around it, and then right off the bluegill beds was some other grass, and then there was a giant drop um, based on the shadow that I could see from that five foot hump that had dropped off to you know eight, nine feet deep probably off the other side. So I'm just going to come up here and crank it, throw a chatterbait, and see uh, if I can get a bite or what it feels like down there. But it looked like it was pretty clean for the most part which is what I want when I'm throwing trouble. And it also was off this point. That feels good. Dumped it like you should. Sweet. So I wanted to show y'all where I caught that fish. Uh, it obviously was a little bit different spot, new spot to me, a uh, familiar area but the water's a little bit high here. The grass that normally is right on the bank and out to, you know, a solid depth, three feet off the, you know, three feet deep, but, you know, 50, 60 feet off the bank. Uh, I wanted to find some maybe deeper grass, some edges, um, or some stuff that they might be holding on in five or six feet of water, rather than just going right up to that three or four feet of water. So I fired up my graph. Um, I had fished all the way down this bank and I had just gotten to this little indention, this little bay, and I was like, I'm just gonna cut this point off and see if there's anything 70 feet to the right or 70 feet to the left. I'll see where that grass line comes out. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick uh, what it looked like on my graph when I idled over that structure that I just caught that fish off of. So let me fire up the motor. I'm gonna graph over here. So there it is, it's coming into view right now. You can see that, that bridge type structure it's just like a, a weird hard object with a bunch of bluegill beds right off of it which is going to be awesome for the post spawn awesome for a next week or two when the fish uh, start to pull up there it seems more more heavily uh, we've got some odd conditions so quick little thing uh, fish this area bunch caught some fish in this area before and I wanted to uh, find something a little bit different and now I've got a spot that I can fish in late April, early April, mid April, and two weeks from now. Um, you know, May, it, it might be a good topwater area that fish that aren't holding in the grass can hold right off that point. And the water's gonna come down a foot or so at least um, when the water finally gets through here. It's a little high right now. So that's how I found it. Not saying I wouldn't caught the fish without the graph, but um getting on the graph and finding something just a little bit off the bank i'm not a great offshore fisherman so finding something a little off the bank uh is big for me so that's how i found that spot uh caught one on a chatterbait there a pretty solid one and then uh, i'm headed to my next spot though got one let's go let's go
good one too. Let's go. That feels good. Thumped it like he should. <laughs>